How's it everybody? Let's take a good look at this VAT question. So we've got value added tax. I hope that's not too dark. The following information relates to the financial records of Zaba stores for the VAT period ended 31 August 2024. Now 15% VAT is applicable and certain items are zero rated. Um, look, this is coming from the most recent matric final examination. Okay, in case you were wondering. Okay, so analyze the transactions under the headings provided in the answer book. Indicate the effect of each answer on the amount payable to SARS. Okay, look, uh, we don't have an answer booklet here. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just, just gonna freestyle it. The owner took stock for private use. Here's a nice example. And the cost price was 5,200 rands. So the VAT amount here is just gonna be that cost price of 5,200. We're gonna multiply that by 15% and we're gonna get 700 and 80 rands now the owner took i was gonna say stuck talk that's crazy that's actually called a spoonerism took stock for private use so if you remember from that first video um that i made on that we're gonna follow the whole soko and pedo yeah i know sorry probably not the best abbreviation i thought of this when i was also in matric uh, this is not coming from any textbook like this is 100 percent all me so yeah this is how i believe um, that everyone should be doing that. To be honest with you, I think it's the most effective way to go about doing it. Uh, I mean, I was even doing this in like my final year at university with like tax questions. So this SOCO here, the S stands for sell and this P is purchase. So sell is going to be output tax. We credit it in our VAT control account and this is going to be owed to SARS. For every sale that we make, we owe more money to SARS and for every purchase, this is going to be owed by SARS, and this is going to be owed to SARS. Okay, so the P is purchased, the I is input tax, D is for debit in our VAT control account, if they ask for it, that's the ledger account, and this O would be owed by SARS. So the owner took stock for private use, so we're not selling anything, we're not purchasing anything, so we need to go back to the root transaction. Now, the root transaction here, the owner took stock for personal use, so initially we recorded this as a purchase, which was that input firstly and it was owed by SARS to us so SARS doesn't owe us anymore we're reversing this purchase almost so it just hops over to the other side and boom this is going to be owed to us so we would credit this in our VAT control account so this is going to ultimately increase our VAT payable to SARS so yeah please check out the first video there's a really thorough explanation there um yeah I'm just I'm not going to explain it in so much depth because I know a few of you are just coming from that video and yeah I don't really want to waste too much of your time you're probably writing tomorrow or well maybe today if you're watching this in the morning receive 17,250 when settling the account of the supplier so that's 17,250 we received that discount. Um, we need to calculate the VAT amount here. So that already includes VAT. So we're just gonna go 17,250 times 15 over 115. And we get an amount of 2250. So received a discount. So initially we made a purchase from the supplier and now we're receiving a discount. So it was initially here, owed by SARS to us. Now it's gonna be owed two SARS, so this is going to increase our VAT payable amount by 2250. Next, merchandise amounting to 139,200. This is a VAT exclusive amount, uh, including zero rated items for 9,200 that was sold on credit. So 139,200 minus this 9,200 gives us 130,000. That's gonna be our VAT exclusive amount. Just multiply that by 15% to get the VAT amount and you get 19,500. So this was sold on credit. We are making a sale here. So that's just gonna be owed to SARS. So again, this is going to increase. So we've had like three increase questions already, well, including that example. Surely the next one is a decrease. And uh, yeah, you, you can see it here. We bought merchandise, so probably gonna be a decrease unless there was some kind of discount at play, which we do have, but it was incorrectly omitted. Omitted means it was left out. So the invoice received, um, it totaled 23,000. And that 23,000, um, that's gonna be a VAT inclusive amount. And a trade discount of 10% was incorrectly omitted from the invoice. A trade discount, probably because we've built a really good relationship with the supplier. There's some level of patronage, customer loyalty, and we're getting this trade discount. Um, it was incorrectly omitted. It means that we haven't factored it in because, well, it was 
missing on the invoice as well. So in other words, this 23,000 here, we need to subtract 10% from it. So 10% of 23,000, we just minus 2,300. And 23,000 minus 2,300, that's gonna be equal to 20,700. And using this 20,700, we're gonna multiply it it's a VAT inclusive amount, by the way, so we need to take out the VAT, so 15 over 115, and we get 2,700. So that's going to be the VAT amount, and uh, it was omitted, so it should have been factored in on our purchase. It should have been factored in on our purchase, so that's going to be owed by SARS, so it's going to go decrease. So we went increase, increase, increase decrease uh, and we've shown all the calculations as well but yeah sorry if i'm not my usual upbeat joking around self i don't know didn't really have the the best weekend um yeah i'm sorry i didn't post any maths videos i know a lot of you guys were banking on it just really please forgive me just i don't know battling my own um i guess like my own personal demons um just yeah kind of, kind of battling after my dog passed away and that some um, like other matters to, to tend to as well, especially some teaching stuff that I needed to sort out with a lot of my private students. Um, honestly, watching the Women's Cricket World Cup. So yeah, I've really neglected the channel and I know it's severely impacted the growth here as well. Um, and yeah, I'm really gutted about it um, because I, I really want this channel to, um, well, to work out. I, I really want to reach, you know, almost every kid in this country. Um, at some stage, you know, we, we live in such a broken country, largely due to so much mismanagement at the top where, you know, we have so many like well-resourced Quintile 5 schools like St. Stidians and Bishops and Michael House and then some completely under-resourced schools and villages. And I want to reach every kid coming from a high net worth home, a low net worth home, whatever it is. And yeah. I don't know, I'm kind, of, uh, I'm kind of like battling to forgive myself after this weekend. I just, I didn't post anything. And yeah, I guess I, I am human. I should be a lot gentler. But um, gentler, is that even a word? More gentle, rather, um, with myself. But yeah, that's how it is. And I just need to like pick myself up now. Literally off the floor, I feel. Um, and just maintain some level of consistency uh, for the upcoming examinations. Because there are some, yeah, things that need taking care of. Yeah, I don't know, like a bit of a deflated goon school here. But yeah, other than that, I really hope you guys enjoy the video um, and really, truly all the best for your accounting examinations. And I'm really sorry that I haven't been consistent with videos. Um, yeah, until the end of examinations, I, I will try my best to be extremely consistent. And yeah, let's um, let's do it. You got this. I believe in you.